My name is Inka and uh, I met the training exactly seven years ago. Like just before New Year, seven years ago, I had the four day introductory training. And what I remember is uh, that, like all I remember is that someone told me that I'm perfect as I am, completely perfect. And then crying for four days, like endless crying. I couldn't imagine like that I'm perfect. And at the same time, um, of course it rang a bell. I totally knew that this was the truth, but I couldn't really like align it with the picture that I had for myself. And then uh, I started my 12 empowerments on the 10th of January. I really remember that date. And yeah, it was, uh, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, definitely. And um, yeah, the life before that, like, I sometimes don't even really relate to that anymore, like to the feelings that came along with it. But I remember that it felt like a constant struggle. And um, I had been calling myself like a survivor for a very long time. So what my, um, my everyday life looked like was I tried to overcome my childhood and all the pain that was uh, going on there. So there was like a lot of abuse and dirt and not very caring. And so I really identified being a victim. That was my like memory most of the time. And um, yeah, now it's just this vast space. It's, it's, I don't really um, connect to that feeling anymore. And um, I was just thinking about this this morning. I had a walk at the beach and um, I just felt so, so cheerful and so open and I was smiling and whatever happened and nothing, I, I needed nothing. And that is something that I experience very often nowadays, that I'm just completely fine and perfect as I am. And I really don't need anything. And that is amazing. And uh, I've been looking into the faces of some people that I was crossing and I could totally see myself in them, like when they like looking at the, the, the ground and, and, and being like a little bit like this, or maybe having this morning not well being or, I don't know, thinking about it, especially like in Arambol, I remember I felt so uncomfortable so often because uh, it's like, yeah, all these like happy people and I thought I, I really should be happy and everybody is so beautiful and wild and free and that's exactly what I wanted, being a hippie and yes, and but all I could actually identify within myself with this like, oh, and no, and I, I'm not confident and I want to be like them but I'm, I'm yeah like just these flaws and this unhappiness and depression and so there was always something that was like I felt wrong and um, yeah now it feels like I really have the best life and when I look at you all it's it's I feel so completely connected with every one of you and it's like being in a big family like the family life that I never had as a child and I always wanted, but I didn't even know how it would feel like. So I kind of romanticized it and also feared it because I knew it came along with like so much pain. And uh, yeah, there's no pain going on here at all, but just gentleness and love and connection and service. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. And um, yeah, during the years, I, I also, like, everything has come up, everything. Like, all the depression that was there, all, like, the social anxiety, the self-hatred, very much, like, in these seven years. But in this flowering, I always knew that it was <coughs> fine that it came up. It's just really getting real with everything. And now it feels like I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid of facing life. I'm not afraid of my thoughts, of my emotions. I just, um, I wrote an email to my trainer yesterday and it was about a conflict that I have with a colleague. And uh, I detect that there's like some bitterness in me like towards her. And um, I wrote an email to her, like a draft of an email. And it said some, it was something like, you hurt me, I want to hurt you too. 
I wrote it, but I didn't send it. But instead, I sent it to my trainer. And um, <laughs> I said, like, wow, look at that. These are like the, the yucky thoughts I have in my head. And I can now just like write it with a smile because I don't identify with it. It's just a thought. It's just an emotion that I have. And the most important thing is that I don't send it to my colleague. But I said, OK, I, I, just will, I will just wait until I'm open again. Because I can also totally to relate to her behavior. And I love her very much. And just like when this is in the foreground, I know that then I can start to react and approach her again. And this is like such a, such a gift. Because I've always identified, like I always call myself like an angry person. And uh, there's still a lot of anger in me. But the identification is different. It's not like I'm an angry person anymore. It's like, OK, there's anger, and I can decide how I want to use it. And um, yeah, well, basically, this is the gift of my life, having met Balanced View in Goa, where I never wanted to be. And now I'm coming back here every year. And um, I'm enjoying it so much, and I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful for the training. I'm so grateful for the time that I am allowed to like flower in my own in my own power and beauty. And uh, there is never like a certain way it has to look. But whenever I think, oh, I'm not doing it good enough, or I'm too slow, all I'm being met here is with like, well. It takes the time it takes for you, and it's perfect. So like the initial, I'm perfect as I am, is just being reflected to me again and again and again. And uh, I, have, uh, I have the privilege that I'm, I'm working as a drama teacher. And I run a little business in Berlin. And uh, to me, I have like a community of international people coming to me. and. Uh, it feels like I, I can like pass on this relaxation and this deep conviction that I'm perfect as I am to everyone who comes to my courses. And uh, this is what I get as feedback very often from the people. It's like what they learn is they learn to relax completely. And by relaxing, they can start and do everything on stage. And they don't even think about it anymore because and not giving a space for like problematizing <laughs> things. But it's just like say everything is fine, that's totally perfect, and it's like just relax, everything is there already, and uh, then it's true. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for coming and supporting me and like doing this journey with me. It's such a privilege. Thank you.